hey artist, I haven't done a campfire in a long time, so let's do one now. And one thing I want to talk to you about is the eternal struggle between Maya's render view and Arnold's render view in the last number of generations of Maya. They seem to be always at war with each other. Nobody knows why, but here's my workflow to kind of work this out. And if you don't know what I'm talking about and you haven't run into this problem, great. If you are trying to render out any kind of sequential frame sequence or batch render or anything like that, then maybe this tutorial will help you out a little bit. If you're just looking to kick out one single frame of your animation or your picture or your scene, just hitting this little render view button right up here obviously does the trick, renders the current frame. If you hit that, uh, you can see here's my test scene where I just have a little floating espresso machine in a scene. But as you can see, it brings up Arnold render view. And once it's finished rendering real quick, you're going to see that it's missing the age old button where you can render a sequence right out. It's not in here. And there's some pitfalls if you try to run this from actually the menu system up here. So if you go right up here to render and say batch render or render sequence, let's do them real quick one at a time. Batch render, click on this, it's going to say, hey, Arnold doesn't support that. You're SOL, you're out of luck right there. Okay, fine. Well, what if I go over to render sequence? Here's a problem over here that I'm going to put this right over here because we're going to need this. And this is how I do my workflow. So the first thing I'm going to always want to see is the Maya original render view, not the Arnold render view, the Maya one, which is a legacy thing and it's getting harder and harder to find it inside of Maya. Just clicking on this little eyeball right up here actually just opens up the Arnold render view, the one that's already open. If I go right up here, it's getting harder and harder to find it. So the easiest thing I do is just make a shelf button and here's my render view right over here. Now, for some reason, every time I click my original render view and I'll give you the code to actually pop that up. It's always super, super tiny. And that drives me nuts because if I want to fire off a sequence, I, I like to be able to watch it and this thing is way too small. So I need to be able to actually fire off and find my Maya render view window so I can resize it and put it where I want to before the sequence actually loads because if you do it after the sequence starts rendering, you'll never get control of this thing without canceling your renders. So right up here, you should just make a little Python two line script and here it is right here. It's simply import the Maya commands as commands. Don't forget the little period right in there. And then it's just CMDS commands, which comes from right up here, capital render view window. And that's the function that you want to call. Now, once you have that typed into your script window, if you don't know where the script window is, just jump down here, open it up. This is the icon right up here. If there's anything in here, just clear it out. Make sure you're on the Python tab highlight everything, middle mouse click, and just drag it right up into you see the shelf. It's going to give you a Python icon. You can just click on that, right click, hit edit, go over to shelves. And from right over here, you could actually change the icon or change the name or whatever you want to do in here. So now that I have control over this guy, I can open him up just like this and I can fire off, there's our missing element right there. The render sequence renders all frames in the sequence. And what is the sequence? Of course, that's coming from your render globals and maybe it's whatever render frame, start frame, end frame. Now, a couple of things that's gonna instantly crash Maya if you're not aware. So a couple of pitfalls to be wary of. If I open up my render view, and here it is super tiny for some reason. If I just click this button right here, which says, hey, render my frame, it's gonna actually close and put it right back in the Arnold render view, which is not what I want at all. I'm gonna open that up again. Same thing with IPR, and it's actually gonna give you probably a crash and an instant crash is right there. So don't click any of those buttons inside the legacy Maya render view. So now that I'm back in Maya, I'm gonna open up this guy once more. And if you just fire this guy right off the bat, and I'm only gonna put just a one or two frames inside of this so it doesn't go forever. So let's say 275 to 276, right? Two frames, good to go. Hit that render sequence button. Now, if you get something crazy like sometimes I get in Maya and it, what it looks to be is the scene that's being motion blurred like crazy. If you hit the render sequence, sometimes it says aborted by user, click it once more and you may get something crazy that looks like the whole scene is being motion blurred through a time warp. And that's usually because one of the menu options, even though it may say that it's set to the correct camera, isn't actually set to the correct camera. Right now, if I have motion blur on, I'm exporting the motion data straight to the scene. 
and you get a crazy scene that comes out looking something like this. Does this, this definitely does not look anything like the scene that I have right over here where there's a couple of computers, uh, a table, and an espresso machine, which somehow uh, isn't actually in the viewport at the moment. This looks crazy. I don't know what that is, but I'll show you how to fix it. It looks like the whole scene's going through a time warp. And the problem with this is, and I'm going to hit cancel, hit escape a bunch of times, and click inside the render scene to actually cancel that out. To fix this mess, and you know this is happening because it takes way longer for some reason, obviously with all the motion blur, uh, to render that one frame than you thought it should have, jump right back up to render and then go to render sequence, go to the options. And guess what? Even though you set this option to a camera like you saw me do a second ago, I set it to render cam, it sometimes pops right back to perspective. Okay, that's a bug in Maya that's been going on for a while now. Okay, so take this and change it back to render cam and do not hit render sequence and close. Do not hit render sequence. Just leave it just like that because again, you will probably crash Maya if you hit either one of these two buttons while this guy is open. Okay, don't even hit close, just leave it open. Then fire off your render sequence once more. So to make sure that you can render sequence very easily, one, create the button right over here with the tiny Python script that opens up this window. Two, you have with the window open the sequence button now to render your sequences. And three, if you get something crazy, you can go right over here to the render sequence options. Do not fire it off from these buttons and change the current camera to render cam. If you change it to your render cam and it still renders crazy over here, go back to this. Don't even close it out because sometimes it'll just snap right back to the perspective cam and just render you that crazy time warp wormhole look that it was trying to do a couple of seconds ago. That scene where it was going super streaky and blurry was taking one and a half, two minutes a frame for some reason. I know these frames only render at 30 seconds right here, so I know something was up. Now, some of you are probably saying, well, just put the render camera in your globals and I don't, it shouldn't ever go to something that's not there. That's not true either, because if I go down here, I haven't changed this in forever. Keep it on render cam or whatever camera you render from, and this doesn't talk to this, okay? So it'll still snap to whatever it wants to snap to, probably the perspective view. So just make sure that this is going where you want it to go. One other thing to be aware of, if I go right over here to my Arnold render view, Again, something to be very cognizant of, then when you hit the sequencer right over here, the render sequence, it's actually only looking at the frames that are sitting in your frame range of the render setting globals. If you hit your IPR, it's probably sitting at some other frame and it's gonna ignore those. That's why these two scenes look a little bit different. So I hope that helps. If you're having a little trouble trying to get to your old workflow, which was my old workflow, with the Maya render view, with the good old fashioned render sequence button that we used to all know and love. It's still there, it's just kind of getting hidden more and more every version. By the way, I'm in Maya 2025. Hopefully in Maya 2026, they don't take this away completely. Good luck and happy rendering.